Man, you can't leave Bitcoin for one week without it doing the craziest shit, which is kind of weird because it's done some crazy shit, but it hasn't even done anything at the same time. So it's kind of strange. But hey, listen, this morning in the VIP Discord, aka the Nexus, when we were doing our TA, looking for our day trades, our scalp trades, and our swing trades, which by the way, we are in a potential swing level kind of right now, just letting you know, I came across this interesting piece of information, this interesting data, and I felt the need that I had to bring it to your attention, and I am definitely the only person on YouTube that is going to be talking about this, that I can guarantee you. And I don't really know how to interpret this information. I don't know if it's a good thing or a bad thing, so I will leave it up to you in the comments to let me know what you think of it. But it is to do with our range here. Now, this is our macro range on Bitcoin that I am sure we are all familiar with, and we have been in this range for 200 days, and I am sure that we are ready to either break up or break down. I don't know about you guys, but I am so sick of seeing the same stupid five numbers on my screen. I'm ready for all-time highs or I'm ready for 40K. Either way, I don't care, but I wanted to bring this to your attention because I think it's very interesting. If we pull our volume profile tool from the range high to where we are right now, you can see that the point of control is $63,800, okay? Now, that's interesting because if you exclude the volume pull from the last seven days, your point of control actually resides upwards of 67.1, give or take, thousand dollars. Why is this significant? It's significant for two reasons. Number one, this range is 200 days old now. And by excluding only seven days of price action, your point of control jumped down from the high to the low approximately, give or take, 5%. That is very relevant because that means that in this last seven days or so, you have extreme amounts of volume. So we've clearly had a lot of volume here. However, price hasn't really done that much. I mean, yeah, we're up. We're at 66K. Great. We're at, like I said, a potential swing area. But even within the confinements of this range alone, price hasn't really done that much. You can see very clearly that it is manipulated, right? This is, at least in my own recent memory, the most manipulated range I have ever seen. I have never seen moves like this. This move, not the direction of it, but the fact that just the movement within the range, I'm not going to lie, took me off guard. And I think it took everybody off guard. Like we were having 2% swings, 3% swings to the upside within minutes, then back down, then back up. Like this is a weird looking range. And then the follow through of it is also very strange because we didn't sweep any of the lows, none of the lows at all. So this is a very, very, very heavily manipulated area. And obviously now we are higher. And so there is a lot of emphasis on this range, I believe. The reason I don't know how to interpret it as of right now is I believe something big is happening. I think that they're going to be moving out of this range relatively soon. Obviously, we have the elections. Obviously, we have the volatility that comes with the elections. But I believe that this range is destined to break soon. And I believe it comes from this make or break level. As I mentioned a few times now, we are in a potential swing area. And so keeping that in mind and keeping in mind that we have such heavy volume within this little range here, I am inclined to believe that should we start to lose this range, we are coming a lot lower. Or conversely, should we choose to hold this range, then we are going a lot higher. Now, the second reason this is relatively interesting. Now, the second reason this is kind of interesting is we have already established that volume is very prevalent in this range, and it's a very manipulated range, and everybody seems to be back in up-only mode, which, I mean, again, for good reason. However, I can't help but notice that even locally speaking, volume is still on the decline, right? So if we've already established that there's a lot of volume in this range, very much so, remember, 200 days of volume and only seven days dropped the point of control down by 5%. So there is a lot of volume in this area, like a lot, a lot, right? Yet, I can't help but notice that the volume actual, like the actual volume indicator, if I knew how to got, get rid of these, uh, yeah, the actual volume indicator is dropping down in volume. So why are we dropping down in volume, yet we're going higher in price, yet we've already uncovered that there is a shit ton of volume here? Right. And this is why I don't really know how to interpret it. Again, I think the best way to interpret it really is just if this holds, then great. 
If it doesn't, then not so great. And so I just thought that this was interesting and I wanted to ask you, let me know in the comments, what do you think about this? Do you think that it's rather interesting how volume is still heavily on the decline yet there's a lot of volume in this range and at the same time this range is a very manipulated range and just to add some icing on the cake here and i'm not saying this is going to happen but i do want to add some icing on the cake here right now when you don't sweep any lows like we haven't been sweeping the lows and volume is on the decline and you have all this potential like not great stuff going on like all these things that you know whether again whether you interpret this in a bullish way or a bearish way something is happening i believe a big move is happening right like there's manipulation something is brewing okay i believe something's brewing now however you interpret it when you have all these lows that haven't been taken and you have this kind of very manipulated looking range and you have what is appearing to be a potential i'm not saying it's going to happen but a potential po3 here you got to kind of scratch your head and say, well, if I'm going to trade based on what the data is in front of me and what the data is in front of me only in terms of the technicals on the chart, and I'm seeing this as a potential PO3, which means if we do end up losing this low here around 64.6, give or take, we're probably going to make a run for all the liquidity at 62.3. And if that can't hold, then we are below the very heavy manipulated range. I mean, again, you guys can interpret it however you like, but I'm just, something stinks. And whether it's to the upside or to the downside, I don't know. I don't know. I can't tell you that I know. I can't, you know, I'm not a fortune teller. I'm not a magician. I'm not a mind reader. I don't know which way this thing is going to go. But I can only tell you the data that's presented in front of me. And right now, the data that's presented in front of me is something stinks here. I don't know why and I don't know what, but something stinks. They're manipulating it in some fashion. We have a lot of liquidity to the upside, so we could absolutely just blast up from here and continue this up-only narrative. Or we could fall below this range, which has a lot of volume. Remember, this seven days changed a 200-day volume pull by 5%. Okay? Something's going on. However you choose to interpret it is up to you. I just felt the need to bring it to your attention and... and I don't know what it is. I don't know what's what's up here. And uh, something, something, man. Something's brewing here. Anyways, I just wanted to bring that to your attention. Guys, for those who don't know, I've been having some health issues, but I am getting better and I will be back hopefully by next week um, for our regular scheduled programming where we go live on YouTube again and we're making more videos again. It's just been a hard week. But... Um, Thank you for watching. I appreciate you. If you like the content, make sure to like. If you love the content, make sure to hit the subscribe button. And yeah, I mean, that's not a rhetorical question. Let me know in the comments down below how you interpret this. And please do me a favor, guys. Eat the ginger, okay? I don't, I don't, if you're going to say up only, back it up, okay? How do you interpret this data? If you're going to say down only, back it up. How do you interpret this data? I find it rather interesting. I just uncovered this information this morning. You know, I don't really know what to think of it. So, if you know, let me know in the comments below. And if you don't know, let me know in the comments below. But if you think you might know someone that might know, send them a link to my video because I'm very interested as a whole on how we can interpret this because the truth is, is I don't know 100%. I don't know. I know that we have a lot of volume up here. I know that we're a potential swing short zone. I know that this is a very manipulated range. And I know that um, people are back in up only mode and feeling FOMO. So we'll have to wait and see. Time will tell. But let me know in the comments down below. God bless everybody. Take care.